I cannot believe who in the world I am sitting here talking to right now. So I guess I don't have to ask you if you if you follow NASCAR. I've heard of it. I, I think it's. Uh, I, I think I've heard of it. Of course. Good Lord of mine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon. I get the distinct pleasure of introducing two guys that need no introduction and bringing them together for a very cool collaboration that I think everybody's really going to enjoy. Jimmy Johnson, seven-time NASCAR champion, and Danny Coker, owner of Counts Customs. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us together and looking forward to this collaboration. Absolutely, Jeff, thank you very much. It is an honor to be here. And uh, for me, this is an absolute blast meeting the legends themselves here, Mr. Jeff Gordon, Mr. Jimmy Johnson. So this is this is, uh, this is is good for me, I'm done, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, Danny, J Jimmy's used to driving cars at 200 miles per hour, right? But he's also a car collector, man. So I think this is right. so cool, the things that you guys have in common. Um, Jimmy, tell us a little bit about, you know, some of your car collecting and your passions outside of racing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I kind of have two avenues of car collecting. One is trying to find cars that I've raced. And then the other side is just some of the cool cars that I have always wanted as a kid growing up. My first car that I put in the collection was a 51 Merc that's uh, chopped, channeled, on the deck, shaved door handles. I even have the fuzzy dice hanging from the rearview mirror, so. You got great taste, brother. I, 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 I too, am a, um, a 51 Merc guy. I love, 51s were the wicked ones, in my opinion, because they had the fins on the back, which the 49s and the 50s didn't have. But I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that, of, of those cars, man. Do you get to cruise it very often? Do you get, do you get take it out? It's been a little while. I think I'm at a point now where my kids are, are older and, and don't need car seats that I'm going to really get into some of my cars. Um, I have a 48 Woody wagon that car seats fit in. It's tall enough and we have enough seats. So it's still the old three on, a, on the tree, which is just incredible to drive that old technology. And then I have a 67 Camaro. Let's talk about Vegas because uh, this is a great track for, for Jimmy Johnson. I mean, Jimmy, you, you've won like what four races there. Uh, this is a you know, special track. It's now in the playoffs later in the season. And you, he's going to have to have not only a fast hot rod, but a better, very cool looking hot rod. So that's where we're going to start to bring you into this conversation, Danny, on design. Man. Yeah, if we can't win, we better look good, buddy. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee the looking good part. The rest of it is up to you. No pressure too. There's just millions <laughs> watching on TV. So you got this. I like the Ally car. I really like it a lot. Uh, the, the, when, when, when the Ally car was unveiled, wow, it's got quite the look to it. So again, that's a big challenge for us here on the Counts Customs end is we're going to try and make a cool car even cooler. Um, I think you have a chance to really kind of Buck the system here. I mean, you're rock and roll. You have the green light from Ally, and I would just encourage you to roll with it, man. One of the elements about the, the existing car that I do like a lot is I really like the hood. I find that the graphics on the hood of the existing 48 right now kind of have a retro vibe to them, the way they're laid out. And so to me, I'd kind of like to stick with a retro vibe in the graphics around the rest of the car to complement the hood and also it seems to complement your personality. So I kind of like to dig out some of the old school tricks in the graphics and lay them out all over the car to complement the hood and to complement that old school rock and roll vibe on the thing. I'm gonna reach into the bag of 70s cool guy stuff and, uh, and I'm gonna work with my man Ryan Evans on this and we're gonna lay out some thoughts and some ideas and I want to present them to you, and, and you tell me if you dig it, because if uh, if you like it and I like it, then the fans can't get mad at just me. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> the notion of the 70s, you know, I think back to the way I grew up with racing motorcycles and, you know, the bikes for bikes, and you didn't paint them, but you had your helmets. And I, I, again, I just think the, the best version of the past, I think, that's shown up recently on cars is Jeff's flames. You know, that is that old school flame. Not that we need to particularly do that, but that's it's just an example of, of uh, how that plays so well and it's so iconic. Man, I tell you what, if, if, if you see that it can't stop grinning, you're saying all of the things that I want to hear. 
I think whatever you guys design, whatever you come up with, and you guys are certainly on your way to, to designing something that's going to be iconic and, and capture what NASCAR is all about, what Jimmy's all about, what you're all about, the rock and roll theme and, and, a, and a hot rod. I, I think you guys, uh, you guys are nailing it. This is going to be fun. I'm stoked right now because I've already got some thoughts on it. But after talking with Jimmy and, and hearing a lot of this old school stuff that he's into, and uh, and Jeff, the, the the stuff that you had to say, especially about the flames and things like that, I'm stoked. Great stuff. Hey, listen, looking forward to this. I think the the what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come back in a few days, see what you've come up with, Danny, and and then uh, you guys can revisit. We'll all get together and uh, we'll look at these designs and and uh, take it to the next step from there. And sincerely, you guys, it really is an honor to meet you guys. Appreciate it, man. You as well. Look forward to meeting you in person one of these days. Amen. I look forward to it, you guys. You guys are the best. All right, cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.